Hello, I'm Rhonda from Comprehensive Grants Management, here to give you an overview of the worksite requirements for the upcoming 2023 Youthville Grant. The Department of Labor will consider a grant applicant non-responsive if the applicant fails to provide at least one worksite form, which is the ETA 9143. The applicant must provide a separate worksite form, ETA 9143, with attachments for each qualifying worksite, not including the annual housing census. Applicants must provide a letter of commitment from each funding source indicating the origin of the funds, the dollar value, and on which worksites it will be expended. For each worksite, the applicant must provide proof of ownership or letter of the owner of the property granting them access. For any currently occupied housing unit, the applicant must provide, as an attachment, a narrative that identifies who is occupying the property, if relocation of such occupants is necessary, and the estimated cost of relocation, including funding source, and the contact information of who will be providing the relocation assistance. The applicant must also provide roles and responsibilities indicating construction activities that youth will perform on each work site. Applicants may submit up to three separate worksite forms with attachments. However, the Department of Labor will not review more than three worksite forms. Applicants must include only one property address per worksite form and must include all related attachments for each worksite submission. If an applicant provides an address and identifies multiple housing units to be built or renovated, it must identify the building type and the number of units in which it anticipates participants will actively use for training. Applicants must include all completed ETA-9143 forms with no more than three as indicated. These attachments are to be added to the project narrative. However, these attachments will not count against page limitations. Additionally, all properties rehabilitated or constructed using Department of Labor Youth Build grant funds require a restrictive covenant that ensures that for a period of at least five years, all residential housing that is constructed or rehabilitated with Department of Labor Youth Build funds will be rented or sold to low-income homeless individuals or families. For more information on the Youth Build Worksite requirements, you can download the form located at www.dol.gov backslash agencies backslash ETA backslash youth and backslash youth bill. There you have it, the work site requirements for the 2023 youth bill grant. Thank you for your time today. If you'd like to know or like to receive more information, you can reach out to me at Rhonda at ComprehensiveGrants.com. That's Rhonda, R-H-O-N-D-A, at ComprehensiveGrants, that's with an S, dot com. Thank you again, and continued success in serving your communities.